Hello, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. We are going to discuss about square root and cube root. If we have the equation x square is equal to y, we say that the square root of y is nothing but x. That is, the square root of y will be equal to x. Let us see an example. Square root of 4 is nothing but 2 because 2 into 2 will give you the value to be 4. Square root of 9 is nothing but 3 and square root of 121 will be equal to 11 because 11 into 11 is equal to 121. Similarly, for cube root of a given number x, the number whose cube is x. So, we denote the cube root of x by this, that is, using a superscript of 3 over the root. Cube root of 27 is 3 because it is nothing but 3 into 3 into 3. That is 3 times you have to multiply 3 in order to get 27. The condition for cube root or a square root can be generalized as root of xy can be written as root of x multiplied by root of y. Root of x by y can be written as root of x by root of y and which is equal to root of x by root of y multiplied by root of y and y cancelling The terms can be combined in this manner, that is, square root of xy, root of y multiplied by root of y is equal to y. The cube root of point zero zero two one six will be how much? We have to find it. Our options are given as follows. Let us see the answer. The cube root of the number is nothing but written as cube root of 216 by 10 power 6 since the decimal point is before 6 decimal places so 10 power 6 which is equal to cube root of 216 can be written as 6 into 6 into 6 by 10 square into 10 square into 10 square since we have 3 repeated numbers in cube root we can write as 6 and 10 square is 10 square because they are 3 in number. So the cube root of 6 into 6 into 6 is nothing but 6. 6 by 10 square is nothing but 0 0.06. Hence, our answer is nothing but option D, 0 0.06. We have a group of students who decided to collect as many pies from each member of the group as the number of members. So, if the total collection amount is rupees 59.29 pies, then the number of members in the group will be how much? Our options are over here. Let us see how to solve this. It is given that the money collected will be equal to the number of members in pies. 
So the money collected was rupees 59 and 29 pies. Each rupee is 100 pies. So multiplied by 100, you get your rupees in terms of price. So that is 5,929 pies. So the number of members can be obtained by square root of 5929 which is equal to 77. So your answer is nothing but option C. 77. These pattern of questions frequently appear in CTS gate and Tata groups of exams. Let us see our next